Hi all, welcome to System Verilog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about functions and tasks in System Verilog. So before moving to forward, first we will understand what is this functions and task. Why we need this functions and task in our code? Okay. So most of the time you can see that in our code we will write some logic or piece of code multiple times. Same code we will write multiple times in our code. So that code can be ten lines of code or that. 10 line of code can contain some logic so we need that function we need that code multiple times in our code so instead of writing that 10 lines of code everywhere multiple times we can insert that 10 lines of code into our functions okay this function is one block so we can insert that code into functions and we can call this function name wherever we want wherever it requires we can call this functions so what uh, what is the use of this function then so it makes our code very simple it increases the readability and it reduces the complexity it makes our code very simple instead of writing that 10 lines of code everywhere it makes our code very lengthy right so by, by using these functions we can reduce the address the code length right we can reduce the code length and it makes our co a code very simple and readable so this is why we use functions and task we will understand more about functions and task okay so function or task is a group of statements that perform some specific action. Both of them can be called at various points to perform the certain operation. So this is a group of statements. Okay, codes are nothing but statements, right? Group of statements. And this performs some specific action. What you write the logic based on your requirement that it performs. And they are also used to break the large code into smaller pieces to make it easier to read and debug. Yes, right. Multiple uh, instead of writing multiple lines of code every time, it uh, it is it convert it into small piece of code. So it it break large code into smaller piece of code, and it is easier to read and debug. And here we have two types: static functions and task, and automatic functions or task. Here this we will use static and automatic. We will see what is the static and automatic. Before that, we will see some more points about functions. A function that does not consume simulation time returns a single value or an expression and may or may not take arguments. So one advantage of function is it will not consume time. We cannot use time constraint in the functions. Okay, a function that does not consume simulation time and it returns a single value or an expression and it make uh, it takes an argument or not. It returns only one value. When it comes to functions, it returns single value or expression and it can with you can pass the arguments or without passing argument also you can use the function a function can contain declarations of range return type parameters input arguments registers and events so a function can contain the range range is nothing but that uh, bit 7 down to 0 or 8 down to 0 so the range you can define and return type whether it is a int type logic type reg type you can uh, define the return type and parameters also you can uh, give and input arguments you can it function can have and registers and events okay and a function without a range or return type declaration returns one bit value when you don't mention the range 7 down to 0 or any return type so when you don't mention the return type it will return a one bit value okay it returns a one bit value any expression can be used as a function call argument so we will see this in the example okay you will understand everything first we will see what can function do and a function cannot contain any time control statements like hash at weight position negates these are all the time uh, it is uh, related to time right hash uh, nothing but a delay at means the events and weight is also used for uh, events and all and passage negates these are all related to time controlled uh, events statements so we cannot include time because we know that a function that does not consume simulation time so we cannot insert or we can we cannot use this in our function a function call a function can call functions but function cannot call task why functions can uh, cannot call task function can call another function it is common uh, we we know right function can call another function but it cannot call the task because we will see uh, what is task okay because in task it will not consume any time sorry uh, task will consume time so task will consume time but function cannot consume time right then how we can call the task inside the function so function cannot call the task 
a function cannot start a task because it may consume simulation time but can uh, but can call other functions just now we discussed function cannot call the task but functions can call another function okay now we will see the syntax this is the syntax two types we can write okay style one is function here you need to mention the return time whether it is a int bit reg or anything uh, with the range also okay and function name this is the function name user defined function name you can give any name and here the arguments you need to pass input port list in out port list and output port list so function can contain input in out and output and here the multiple states you can insert the multiple statements without begin and end loop begin and end okay without begin and end you can write multiple lines of code and here you will return the value or expression okay return value or expression and another style is function return type function name here you no need to uh, mention the input and output arguments instead of that instead of that you can write here inside the function okay input in out output see instead of writing in the parenthesis you can write outside the uh, parenthesis that nothing but inside the function okay here you can return the value this is this is how we can write uh, syntax in two styles now we will understand more about functions system verilog allows to declare an automatic variable in static functions and the static variable in automatic functions so we we know that we have two types static and automatic functions so inside the static function you can write the automatic variable and inside the automatic functions you can write the static variable so how you can write that by using the keywords automatic and static okay if you want to write the static keyword inside the automatic function use the static keyword static a okay and if you want to use the automatic keyword inside the static function use automatic keyword automatic a like this we will see this in the example okay so multiple statements within a function without requiring a begin end or fork join block so here if you have multiple lines of code no need to write the begin and end in verilog we know uh, we know that right so some simulator will not uh, will not support means you need to use the begin and end to write the multiple lines of code inside the functions so in system verilog it allows multiple statements within a function without requiring a begin end or fork join block and returning from the function before reaching the end of the function nothing but premature function return what is this premature function return in function we will write the code inside the function and end function right so when you use the return keyword it will when it reaches the return keyword it will uh, uh, it will finish the execution okay it will not go into execute the statements after the return keyword for example you have a multiple codes of line uh, multiple lines of code inside the function and after return keyword you are uh, displaying one statement okay but this what it will do it will not go into execute that statement after the return keyword whatever you have written it will not go into execute that because if you use the return keyword when it reaches the return keyword it will stop execution it will return some value or expression it will not go into execute the statement returning from the function before reaching the end of the function so this is called the premature function return this is uh, one thing we need to remember and passing values by reference value names and position we can pass the values by the reference or value or names and position you will see everything in the code okay i have example for each of this point okay and default argument values when you are not pass passing any values into the uh, function it can take the default arguments when you mention the default values okay it can take the default arguments and function output and in outputs you know uh, you already seen in the syntax right it can take input in out and outputs and the default direction of argument is input if no direction has been specified if you are not mentioning the direction whether it is a input or a output so by default the direction is input only okay default arguments type is logic if no type has been specified so if you don't mention the return type whether it is a int logic or bit or anything so the default type is logic this uh, this two things you need to remember important points okay static and automatic functions so till now we have discussed some static variable automatic variable this thing right so now we will see what is static and automatic functions exactly okay so static means nothing but constant 
So the static function or task share the same storage space for all the function or task calls. Inside the st static functions, we have some variables. So when we call that functions, every time it takes the same memory space. That means uh, it will override the variable. Okay, when you use the static function. And in automatic function or task, it will allocate the unique or separate uh, stacked storage memory for each function or task call. For example, if you have some variable inside the automatic function and when you are calling every time, it will allocate the different memory, separate memory for each call. Okay, that means you cannot override the variable. It will allocate the separate memory every time you call the functions. But in static functions, it will take the same memory space. For example, if you are incrementing, we will see this example in our code. Okay, so I will tell just now some brief example. For example, you have you are ha you are having the incremented function, means incremented value, a plus plus value you have in the uh, functions. So when you are calling first time, it will increase the value. For example, a plus plus means a value is one, and when you call again second time, so that becomes two, same value a becomes two, and next time three like this. The, same sp uh, storage space it is allocating no that's why it's taking overriding one two three like this but when you call when you are using this automatic function so when you are using the automatic functions it allocates the unique or separate memory for each call that means first time you call the function automatic function okay so a value is one and next time you are calling the same value again you are getting one and third time you are calling the automatic function again you are getting one it is not incrementing because this is the automatic function that means you have a separate memory for each call every time it is starting from the beginning but in static function how it was one first time you called it a value gets one and next time you called it is overriding one plus one it is already taken the same value one and next time you call the incremented function it becomes two and next time three four five six like this it is increasing that means it is taking the previous value because it has only one storage space but in automatic function Whenever you call the function, every time it is taking new space, means separate memory location. Okay, this is how static and automatic function works. And by default, functions declared are static except they are declared inside the class scope. By default, the functions are static. Okay, when you return the function inside the class, then only it becomes automatic. So by default, all functions are static. Without you mention like uh, you, if you mention automatic keyword with the function, then only it becomes automatic function. Otherwise, by default, it is a static function. And if the function is declared within the class scope, they behave as an automatic. Yes, I told you right. If you mention the if you return the function inside the class, it becomes automatic by default, unless they are specifically mentioned as static functions. Normally, in the module, if you write the functions, it is static by default. And if when you write the same functions inside the class, class scope, it becomes automatic by default. This is the two things you need to remember. All variables declared in a static function are static variable unless they are specifically mentioned as an automatic variable. That is nothing but inside the static function, whatever you write, the variable. So all variables are static only unless and until you mention it as a automatic. Okay. If you use the automatic keyword with the variable, then only it becomes automatic variable. Otherwise, it is a static variable. And same goes for automatic function. Okay, inside the automatic function, whatever you write the variables, all becomes automatic variables. Unless and until you mention it as a static. There you need to uh, mention the static keyword. Okay, static A, static B. So, and all variables declared in automatic functions are automatic variables unless they are specifically mentioned as a static variable same vice versa okay so this is about static and automatic functions we will see everything uh, this in the code example